hello people welcome to 95 scooter guy in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to change your faulty brake pads and if you look at i could have done this myself but it's a sensitive area in the bike and i didn't want to take any risk so i took it to the mechanics and my bike uses a dix brake system in the front so the mechanic had to lose the caliper as you can see it's in red and he was using an allen key i think it's about eight and it's allen key to lose the the rods that are connecting the brake pads and I had to speed up speed up the video there so we can do that. After that he had to remove so a couple of bolts, about two of them. I think they are about eight inches as well. And if you look at closely the brake pads you see they're worn out like totally worn out and I noticed whenever I was riding they were barely functioning and they kept on making the screeching sound when the iron kept rubbing up against the deck so he quickly changed that i could not get an original one so i just bought generic brake pads and it worked well if you look closely the cylinders that help with the brake mechanism work they are already dirty we didn't have time to wash it we could have just used something like a solvent or foil or we could have used carburetor cleaner to wash it but huh, i didn't want to spend the extra cost so he brought in a plier because of the continuous use the cylinders were a bit too forward so he had to adjust them manually now if you had used the solvent it would have been easier to push it in but eh, i guess we just had to make do with what we had then after that he tried to make sure they were in the right position so we could fit the new brake pads properly now he had to do it one after the other so he just slide in the first one correctly then he used one of the screws the allen keys he put in one so that to have a firm grip for it apply the second one and all this all doing this so that the brake pad will sit properly in the bike and if you look at you use the screwdriver to make sure you properly adjusted the caliper the brake pads so we won't have an issue so he has inserted the second one then inserted the second screw or the second island key and he hit it in and that was easy now all that was left to do is just to bolt it in and try it out and this whole process took less than an hour and the whole process was pretty inexpensive because I wasn't able to get generic part, original parts so we just bought generic ones and after that the bike was the brake system was back to new I was able to ride it without being afraid of having any accidents because I had a couple of instances getting to the repair shop so at the end of the day I was glad I brought it in and the brake pad worked perfectly if you look at I could barely press it to halfway through and that shows that the brake was working well Anyway, for more videos and more tips, kindly stay tuned to the channel. Then, have a nice day.